The Himalayan rabbit is one of the rarest rabbit breeds that are often mistaken for another spotted white rabbit, the Californian. It is a medium-sized rabbit with a white body and colored markings. Rabbit associations recognize Himalayan colors like blue, black, lilac, and chocolate. The Himalayan is known as one of the oldest rabbit breeds and is also one of the calmest. Adults Himalayans weigh from 2.5 to 4.5 pounds and have an ideal weight of 3.5 pounds. This has a cylindrical, well-built body with a lovely coat. This is also the only cylindrical bodied rabbit breed. This rabbit breed is from areas with cold climates but may be seen with black colors on their coats that make them a phenocopy of a black rabbit breed. The Himalayan is also known as black nose, Egyptian, and Chinese. Usually, this rabbit is in a stretched out pose. At this position, you will be able to better admire its fine bone and its skinny body that is very different from other rabbit breeds. This is because the Himalayan is not raised for me, and its main purpose is for the show. Breeders say that the Himalayan was once raised for their coats. The Himalayan is the only rabbit breed with an extra set of nipples. Coat Markings The Himalayan is known for its unique and distinct markings that are quite similar to the Himalayan cat. These have dark ears, dark feet and hind feet, dark tails, and a large dark spot on the nose. These special marks change according to the environment where the rabbit is and can also change due to the rabbit's age. The cold can darken the dark marks and can even enlarge them or add more spots around the eyes and near the rabbit's genitals. These marks are not to disqualify a rabbit bred for the show because these are not on any usable part of the pelt. However, if the marks are found in the usable areas of the coat, like the rabbit's belly or the pin bones, then the rabbit may be disqualified. Meanwhile, the warm weather may shrink and lighten the marks and cause the hairs to change to white color. In very hot weather, the rabbit may develop white toenails. Expect that chocolate and lilac rabbits have bigger markings compared to blues and blacks. The chocolate and lilacs are also prone to develop disqualifying marks. Himalayan rabbit babies are very sensitive to temperature. Most kittens that are placed inside a warm nest will look like an albino. This rabbit also has red eyes, and those with other eye colors are misidentified as sable points. If the nest becomes too cold, or if a kitten falls out of its nest, these will develop dark bands on their fur. In addition, because the Himalayans constantly changing colors, most breeders do not use markings as a factor to breed this rabbit. Himalayans come with a double copy of the CH gene and have a double copy of the self gene, causing black color. There are also varieties of lilac and the chocolate Himalayan and those with BB will become chocolate. Those with DD will become blue and a rabbit with the BB and DD will show as a lilac breed. History of the breed. The Himalayan rabbit is one of the first rabbit breeds and until today, its origin remains unknown. These rabbits may be from the Himalayas, and the original variety may have been black while the blue may have been developed later. The lilac and chocolate were created from different crosses according to the place where they originated. The American chocolate was created by Ron Smelt from California. He mixed a chocolate English spot with Himalayans while the lilacs were created by combining the chocolate and the blue Himalayans. Different combinations created lighter blues and early lilacs, and this was not acceptable. Further studies and intense breeding resulted in the Himalayan rabbit design that we know today. The Himalayan is vital to the creation of many rabbit breeds, including the Californian. This breed was made by combining Himalayans and other breeds like the New Zealand or the standard chinchilla. The Californian breed was used in breeding many rabbit breeds such as the Champagne d'Argents. Reproduction Himalayan rabbits reproduce just like other domesticated rabbits. This breed is forced bred to get baby Himalayan rabbits. As with other rabbits, this can breed all year round. Himalayans can start as early as 5 to 8 weeks old. The male is placed in an enclosure, and then after a few days, the female is added. This practice can increase the chances of breeding success. Right after placing inside the cage, the female will remain still as the male gets to know her better by sniffing her. She will usually resist this, and the two will engage in a jumping and chasing activity. However, after a while, the female will give in and allow the male to sniff her and mount her. However, if mating does not happen after hours of waiting, remove the female from the cage and reintroduce her after another hour. Rabbit mating happens quickly, and you will know that it was successful when the male leaves the female alone. The female is removed from the cage and then placed in a separate enclosure. She will stay here until she gives birth, which is usually in 38 days. The female will select a good area to build a nest. She will be restless and will usually avoid eating or drinking. Use a birthing box that is any kind of box or container filled with soft hay. The female may also use other materials for her nest and may even use her own fur. The female will soon give birth to up to five babies. 
a female can become pregnant three to four times a year. Just like other rabbits, the mother Himalayan will nurse her babies and clean them up, but she will not stay long. She will leave her blind, deaf, and naked, very vulnerable babies. She will return only every night time to nurse them for a very short while. The baby Himalayans will open their eyes in 5 to 7 days and will wean from their mother in 10 to 12 days. Personality and Behavior As mentioned, the Himalayan is one of the gentlest rabbit breeds and is not known to bite or nip even when held by strangers. And because of its small size, it is ideal for singles, seniors, and people who are new to taking care of a rabbit. This rabbit is not the active type that kids love, but this can be picked up and petted. Comparable Breeds The Himalayan rabbit is comparable to its predecessor, the Californian rabbit, and this is because of the markings on the face, nose, ears, and body. However, the Himalayan is a small rabbit while the Californian is a large one and can weigh up to 10.5 pounds. It has a commercial body shape and a lifespan of 10 years. The Californian is also a gentle and affectionate breed but is more active than the Himalayan. It is ideal for singles, apartment dwellers, and seniors. Supplies and Cages Himalayan rabbits are very energetic and may need a big enclosure where they can play, sleep, and run. Despite the rabbit's size, its cage should be made of wire with a very strong metal frame. The bottom should be removable and to make it easier to dispose of the rabbit droppings as well. The floor should have soft bedding and lined with good quality bedding. You must install a rabbit hay feeder along the sides of the enclosure so your rabbit can easily get hay to eat or just to chew on. For the bedding, use hay, wood pellets, or pallet bedding. To clean the cage, place your pets in a separate safe and clean cage. Use only an effective, non-toxic cleaner or natural cleaning product like white vinegar, baking soda, and water or lemon. You must never use household cleaners or toilet cleaners because these may have dangerous ingredients that can affect your pet's health. Have an extra cage if you want to care for baby Himalayan rabbits. Baby rabbits are very vulnerable as they are born naked, deaf, and blind. Make a cage with a warm enclosure to keep these at the correct temperatures. A smaller cage with a lamp or lighting will keep kits dry, warm, and safe from predators. Dental care. A Himalayan rabbit's teeth will grow continuously, and sometimes, this can grow to extreme lengths, which can pierce their mouth and gums, which can cause a lot of pain and discomfort. It is your task to make sure that the rabbit's teeth don't overgrow to avoid pain and stress. You can help by feeding it hay because this can grind the teeth naturally, as it chews. Put pieces of wood, baskets, or other toys that will file the rabbit's teeth. Always monitor your rabbit's dental health to save on medical and dental bills. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.